Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. And I'm here to share my review of the S59 Pro from Doogee. Another rugged beast here on the channel, but this one has a very special spec that I want to share. You can see it right there with a 10,050 milliampere battery. This is officially the largest battery that I've ever tested here on the channel. But is there more to this Doogee budget phone than meets the eye? And at 199 US dollars, you can basically get the biggest battery of any phone on the market today. Check links in the description and Duji is also going to be running a giveaway for this phone so have a look at those details as well but before we get started with the review let's have a look at the unboxing design and we have a pretty hefty device here well over 300 grams and almost 16 millimeters in thickness but pretty standard fare here for a Duji device and you have the quad camera set up on the back it is a nice look and I got it in this kind of green version but you also have fire orange and mineral black to choose from as well overall guys the design if you've used a Duji phone before you will be very used to it and you have a side mounted fingerprint scanner on this device and it works pretty well overall and the S59 Pro is military standard 810G with IP68 and 69k water resistance as well so this phone will take a beating and will withstand any type of submersion in water that is standard fare for Duji but you'll have it also here in this 199 US dollar S59 Pro display we have a 5.71 Corning Gorilla Glass display here on this S59 Pro and the display is LCD and it's really okay I guess the colors are a little bit more washed out than I would like I think I've seen better panels on other Doogee phones I've tested but considering the price of this phone I think we'll do a decent job now one thing Doogee I don't know why they did it on this phone was include this notch there's so much space up here you could have just moved the camera a little bit higher I think this is one case where the notch doesn't make it look as good and I would have preferred a full screen display on this Doogee S59 Pro. But that being said it's pretty serviceable in terms of a viewing experience and the best part of enjoying content on this phone are the speakers guys with a 2 watt output these speakers get plenty loud and I think overall once you combine the display and the output of the speakers you get a pretty decent viewing experience on this S59 Pro. But of course what do you expect? L3 only here on this S59 Pro, no HD Netflix support, and I would love to see Doogee try to get L1 security level on at least one of their phones. Doogee, let's do it man. Performance, and we're talking about the Helio P20, and here you see the Antutu scores, they are pretty low guys. This is a low to even kind of budget chipset, and I don't think you should buy this phone based on the performance. To be honest, with the 4 gigs of RAM, this is the first Doogee phone that I felt is a little bit more sluggish than I would like. You know, it's not to say that it's a bad experience and you get what you're paying for, obviously, but I would have loved to see 6 gigs of RAM on this phone. It just feels a little more sluggish navigating the system and, you know, more drop frames that I'm used to seeing on even Doogee's phones. But, you know, that being said, performance is still pretty decent, at least for these types of basic games, and you should be able to manage a game like Subway Surfers without any issues. And of course, this 2G S59 Pro does ship with Android version 10, and they're pretty recent on the security patch. And overall, I still appreciate that they're using this stock-like experience on this S59 Pro. But now, obviously, the star of the show of this phone is the battery capacity. With a 10,050 milliampere battery, you have the largest capacity of any phone I've tested ever on the channel. And that definitely makes it a pretty thick boy here. You can tell it is a pretty hefty phone to hold. But let me tell you, the battery life on this phone is incredible. You will get easily three to five days of use with this Doogee S59 Pro. And if battery is your sole reason for wanting a phone, let's say you are going camping or you want a phone to last last almost a week on a single charge you have it right here in the Doogee S59 Pro 
And in terms of comms, you get global frequency band support. So a lot of bands represented on this phone. You also get NFC for Google payments. And I think that is great to see at this price point as well. But now let's talk about the other key spec of this phone besides the battery capacity. And that is the speakers. So this S59 Pro comes equipped with a tone arm box and smart power amplifier with a maximum power output of two watts and a maximum volume of 100 decibels. This is going to be one of the loudest speakers that I will have tested on the channel. But let's listen to one of my songs here from Frankie Tech Music. What can I say? Oh my gosh, these speakers get loud. They are blasting. Now in terms of sound quality, they do get a little bit tinny at 100%. Maybe if you play them at around 80%, you'll hear a bit more separation of audio, but this was really to test out how loud these speakers get, and they really do fill up a room with sound. So while still only a 7 out of 10 in terms of audio quality, if you want the loudest speakers on any smartphone I've ever tested, you have it here in this phone. And last but not least, we have a quad camera set up on the back of the Doogee S59 Pro with a 16 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel portrait, and an 8 megapixel macro camera. Now overall camera quality on this phone is just okay. You know, if you're in regular lighting, you should get some decent shots from this S59 Pro. And in the ultra wides, you still have that kind of warped look that you get on a lot of Doogee phones. I really wish Doogee does spend more time in the next year improving their ultra wide cameras by removing a lot of that fish eye effect and just creating a more natural look so doji definitely focus on your primary cameras here but i think overall for the price you'll get some decent serviceable shots from this s59 pro so that's it for this video and my final verdict on the Doogee S59 Pro. It's a decent device guys, but it's definitely not up there in the list of favorite Doogee phones that I've tested so far. I think the S88 Pro, even the S68 Pro, I prefer a bit more. And of course we have the S96 Pro, which has that great night vision camera as well. So where does this S59 Pro slot in, in the range of these phones? I think if your sole purpose is to have the largest battery capacity on a device, and if you're able to put up with the fact that this is the thickest phone, other than the S88 Pro that I've tested this year, well then you have a phone with a three to five day use battery. And if battery is your main priority, then look no further than this S59 Pro. Check links in the description and also check out their giveaway information for this phone. And thanks once again to Doogee for sending this one out. But hit me up in the comments. What are your thoughts on this phone? And what do you think in general of phones passing the 10,000 milliampere battery mark? Is that kind of overkill for you? Or do you want to see phones with even bigger battery capacities in 2021? Hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. Big announcement tonight, guys. Stay tuned for my full recap of the Mi 11 event as soon as it happens. Stay tuned, guys. So that's it, and this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech, signing off. Have a good one.